Look at all that delicious cheese. Hey guys, this is Jackie Cooks. I'm going to be sharing with you today my recipe for my creamy, tasty macaroni and cheese. We're going to start off by adding 8 ounces of elbow macaroni to boiling water. After cooking our macaroni for about 8 to 9 minutes until al dente, we're going to drain it and set it aside. Now here comes the fun part. We're going to add three tablespoons of unsalted butter to our skillet and we're just going to melt that. Now we're going to make a roux or a sauce for our macaroni and cheese. We have three tablespoons of flour. We're going to stir that until it's creamy and smooth. Then we're going to slowly add three cups of milk. We're just going to whisk that until it's smooth, thick, and creamy. Now it's time for our seasonings. I have one teaspoon of smoked paprika, one teaspoon of kosher salt, two teaspoons of black pepper, and one teaspoon of ground mustard. Just going to add that in. Yum! You see how thick that sauce is? We're just going to pour that delicious smelling sauce over our macaroni. Looks so good and I haven't even put the cheese in yet. Lord have mercy. We're going to add in about two eggs and one fourth cup of butter. We're going to mix that very well. Uh-oh, here comes the cheese, guys. I'm going to add one cup of sharp cheddar cheese, one cup of Monterey Jack cheese, half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Just going to stir that up and ooh! Look at it, look at it, look at it! I could taste it already. Oh my God, here we go. We're just going to pour that in our 8x8 baking dish and just smooth that out. Woo! Smooth and creamy texture. More cheese, please. I'm just going to add about half a cup of sharp cheddar cheese on top. You can never have too much cheese. We like a little bit of crunch with our macaroni and cheese, don't we? So I'm just going to add about half a cup of crushed crackers on top. After cooking at 350 for 30 minutes, this is the final result. Yum, yum, yum. And I must say, this is the best macaroni and cheese I've ever had. Hey guys, you must try this recipe and let me know. See you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.